everyone welcome back to our channel so good to have you guys back here again thank you once again for your continuous massive and huge support to this channel god bless you guys we really appreciate you and we pray that even as you support this channel god almighty will support you in whatsoever you lay your hands to do in jesus name amen thank you once again guys yes my people were back again as always with latest and most authentic happenings in the country it is shocking what INEC, the Independent Electoral Commission, is said to do in Lagos State in spite of all that is going on in Lagos State and also other states across the country. We know um, Tuesday we witnessed a black, a black Tuesday, the massacre of innocent citizens by uh, military personnel. That order, we know very well, it came from President Mohamed Buhari, who is still yet to address the nation so unfortunate to have him uh, and that we have him as a president at this time that he cannot even um, feel the pains of the masses of the youth and come out to even speak it's so sad and unfortunate and you know guys the irony of all of this is if anything happens in any other country any african country close by buhari will be the first person to issue a statement he will be the first person to lend his voice he will be the first person to travel out to go for peace meetings and all of that what an irony. What, what, what hypocrisy. That's the height of hypocrisy. That's, that's the right word to use is the height of hypocrisy. There's current chaos and crisis in the country. He cannot speak up. He cannot say anything. But if he's to um, send messages to other countries that uh, uh, um, um, we, we console with you, we condemn the activities, we do this and we do that, he will be the first um, to speak up. So sad. But guys, it's shocking what INEC is really planning in Lagos State. I don't know if this will really, if the youth will allow this to happen. We'll bring you the details shortly, guys. But before we do, please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Thank you and God bless you. Yes, we'll go straight into the news now and grab all of the details. The recent struggle and protest for the hashtag NSAS brutality is taking another dimension in Nigeria as international community have condemned attacks on unarmed Nigerians lend their voice in support of the protesters. Meanwhile, to add salt to the injury, the protesters have refused to leave the street but continue the peaceful protest until their demand is met by the federal government and the police force undergoes total reform and reshape, thereby making every officer who have one way or the other commit crime face the wrath of the law accordingly. Meanwhile, as crisis and protests rock states like Lagos, Oyo, Rivers, Delta, Imo, Ogun. And two days ago, the protest turned bloody at Lekito Gate. In Lagos, after people suspected to be men of the Nigerian army allegedly opened fire at peaceful protesters, leaving many dead and several battling for their lives in the hospital. After the army allegedly killed so many people, residents of Lagos have started taking laws into their hands by destroying properties worth billions of naira in Lagos. However, despite the fact that the protests rocking Lagos has turned bloody over the last few days, the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, an electoral conducting body in Nigeria, is set to hold by-elections in Lagos State and 10 other states on October 31st, 2020. According to the press release by INEC through their verified Twitter handle, the by-election in Lagos is to fill vacant posts left by lawmakers who were either dead, resigned, or sacked by court ruling. The press release as seen from INEC indicated that Lagos and 10 other states will have their by-elections and commission is aware of the security threat due to what is happening in Lagos presently. And they are presently monitoring the situation as regards the impact of the ongoing protests might have on the election in Lagos. The by-election will feature places like Lagos East Senatorial and Koso Fair Constituency 2 by-elections and will hold on October 31st, 2020 in Lagos State. The INEC Resident Electoral Commissioner REC in Lagos State, Mr. Sam Ulumekun, said the commission would not go back in her decision as they are ready to conduct free, fair 
and credible elections without compromising standards in the state. He further said that the election will go on as planned with the commission ready to put everything in place for it to be successful. In his reaction, the African Democratic Congress ADC candidate for the Lagos East Senatorial District in a by election, Dr. John Kome, has lent his voice by urging the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, to with immediate effect review and cancel upcoming elections slated for October 31st. According to him, there is an urgent need for the Commission to be sympathetic with the situation in the country at the moment. However, despite the ongoing protests, which has turned bloody, there's no enough justification to go ahead with the elections. All of this, we know INEC, the leadership of INEC, we know they are all um, APC card-carrying members. They are all um, government appointees by um, President Mohamed Buhari. Now they are planning by elections in Lagos states that uh, just witness a bloody massacre, very bloody. Lives were, were lost in um, this incident. And um, it's just <laughs> 31st of October. Today is 22nd. Let's just let's say about a week from today. And they are still very convinced and, and they are still very positive that the election would hold. You can see there's no connection with the country. Who is which election? Are they, who wants to vote for them? What are they even talking about? The the country is in a is a, is in a chaotic state, especially Lagos, that saw the massacre on Tuesday night. INEC is planning the unbelievable. It's very unbelievable. Probably it's a good avenue for them to do the election and carry out um rigging and them um, all the election practices that they indulge in. There's a current situation in the country and the all they can say is that they are monitoring it. If um, with the violence, with the irate youth that are all over the places, um, destroying things and with all of that, is that how they want to plan elections? It's unbelievable anyway. But guys, this is what INEC has said in the midst of um, the current situation going on in Lagos State. Guys, let's hear your take um, in all of this, what INEC has planned. It's very clear here that um, they want to take advantage. They want to use this opportunity that the, co the country is not set to, the state is not set to, to carry out their election map practice. Guys, let's hear your take. Thank you once again. Please, if you haven't given us a thumbs up yet, do go ahead and give us a thumbs up. Click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe as well. Hit on the subscribe button. It really does mean a lot to us. Till I come your way again with more updates. Bye for now and God bless.